Jim DiMaria from Generation Kill. You're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock Metal News with a Rock Metal News update. The Acacia Strain announced their fall record release tour, featuring support from Cruel Hand, I Declare War, Fit for an Autopsy, and No Bragging Rights. Death is the Only Mortal is out October 9th on Rise Records. You can check out a lyric video for the new track, Victims of the Cave, and the link is in the description. Also, you can pre-order Death is the Only Mortal. Uh, link is in the description as well. The track listings have been announced as well. Uh, they are are Doom Blade, Our Lady of Perpetual Sorrow, Go to Sleep, Brain Death, The Mouth of the River, Dust and the Helix, Victims of the Cave, Time and Death and God, The Chambered Nautilus, and House of Abandon. And you can check out the tour dates of their record release tour. And uh, Unearth have announced a co-headlining U.S. tour with Born of Osiris. The tour will take place in November. The show will be opened uh, up by the bands Obey the Brave, The Contortionist, and Wolves at the Gate. And 2013 is the 10th anniversary of Wednesday 13 and 20 years of Wednesday 13 putting out tunes. Wednesday 13 has been preparing his new album and touring schedule for uh, the new year. And the band will release a new full-length album in February or March 2013 titled The Dixie Dead. And Amorphous have entered the studio to record their new yet untitled album. Check out the first studio video report and stay tuned for more updates. The link is in the description. And Amorphous' a new studio album is planned for a March or April 2013 release through Nuclear Blast Records. And Christine Clark of PopCultureMadness.com interviewed Buck Cherry guitarist Keith Nelson recently at the Rock Allegiance 2012 Festival in Hershey, PA. And Nelson released some news on the new album album titled Confessions. You can check out the interview and the link in the description. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News, and that's a Rock and Metal News update. Thanks for tuning in.